Well, getting illegal guns out of the hands of criminals it is the goal of a new state bill that takes effect this month. The law, which passed with bipartisan support, will create the Indiana Crime Guns Task Force. Fox 59's Jesse Wells explains what that task force is trying to accomplish. For the last few years, IMPD has operated the Crime Gun Intelligence Center here at East District Headquarters. The goal of the new bill is to expand that expertise to the seven counties surrounding Marion County. At this hotel near Post Road in June, officers with the Crime Gun Intelligence Center arrested two people and seized five illegal handguns. This month in downtown, again with the help of CJIC, officers seized eight more firearms and made six arrests. Success they've had uh, with pursuing these crime guns has been uh, absolutely amazing. That's why State Representative Greg Stewart helped author House Bill 1558 allowing cities and towns in Boone, Hamilton, Hancock, Hendricks, Marion, Morgan, Johnson, and Shelby counties to collaborate with the Crime Gun Intelligence Center because the fact is crime isn't unique or limited to Indianapolis. Some of these uh, crime guns have been used by multiple people in multiple areas, so we'll be able to trace that gun throughout that entire process. IMPD leadership at the Crime Gun Intelligence Center, which has seized hundreds of illegal firearms over the last couple of years, are excited to share their knowledge because the entire purpose of CJIC is to reduce gun violence. By expanding it to the surrounding counties, we hope to benefit them because some of their crime is surely connected to crime in Marion County. Representative Stewart says dozens of agencies have already agreed to take part in the task force, which he hopes will solve crimes and maybe save lives. It's a great law enforcement tool because they trace the gun which leads them to the perpetrator. In my opinion, it does more to advance law enforcement because uh, you're able to catch the criminal. you got to catch him first before you can prosecute him. Various community leaders are planning to hold a kickoff event for the new task Task Force in two weeks here at East District Headquarters. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. Jesse, thank you. Also this afternoon, a 15-year-old girl is in critical condition after she